guys, this is Haley from WonderRabbits.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to pet your rabbit. So it might sound a bit odd to have a video on how to pet a rabbit because you might think that you just pet a rabbit like you would say a cat. So here I have Clara, um, one of my cats and as you can see normally when you think of petting an animal, you just think, you know, you pet them on their body or whatever. Um, Clara really doesn't like to be held, so. <laughs> but rabbits are very unlike cats and dogs because they are prey animals, whereas cats and dogs are predators. Now that may not seem important, but it actually really is important when coming to the fact of petting a rabbit. So I'm just going to be showing you a few tips and tricks on how to um, just be around rabbits and um, just using their body language so that they aren't afraid when you're approaching them or petting them. Now just as a side note, um, all of these tips in this video are mostly for rabbits who um, are already tame, um, which means they are already comfortable with you and they're comfortable with their surroundings. Um, there is a different way to like tame a rabbit, like when you first bring a rabbit into your home. Um, I can do a separate video on that if you'd like, um, just because approaching a rabbit when you first get it um, can be very scary for your rabbit and they can act out in aggression. Um, so this is more towards rabbits who you've had for a long time or are comfortable with you. These are also some tips you can give your friends and family when they come and want to pet your rabbits. Um, so yeah, that was just a little side note there. <laughs> So the first step to petting your rabbit successfully is approaching your rabbit. Now there are several ways you can do this wrong and it could end up with either one, the rabbit is scared and runs away, or two, the rabbit becomes aggressive and tries to fight back. So the first instinct most people have when trying to pet rabbits is to either like put their hand right in front of the rabbit's nose so that they can smell it, or they put their hand on the on the ground for the rabbit to like hop up to and smell. Um, both of these things are things you want to avoid. So the first reason this method is not good with rabbits is because of the way their eyes are on their body. Rabbits eyes are on the side of their head which means they can actually see almost 360 degrees around them um, but they cannot see directly in front of their nose. Um, now the reason they're designed like this is because um, like in the wild, this makes for wonderful like um, survival methods for rabbits. Like they can see everywhere so they're very alert on where a predator might be. Um, but since they can't see directly in front of their face, if you were to take your hand and like shove it towards their nose or put it on the ground, this might um, startle your rabbit because your rabbit might not see the hand until it's like very close to them or they might like see a shadow of it. Um, that can startle your rabbit because they might think um, like it's a predator or something. So that is one reason why this method is not good. Another is because of the way um, rabbits communicate. Now if you've ever had a bonded couple of rabbits you may have seen this before but one thing that rabbits do to show their dominance is to lay, slide their head underneath another rabbit's head. And the reason they do that is to say, hey, I'm in control, um, I'm the boss, now groom me. Um, so because of that, when you're sliding your hand under um, or by your rabbit, your rabbit is thinking that you are trying to be the boss of them and they can react aggressively towards that saying, no, I don't want you to be the boss or um, it just comes off as a very aggressive behavior in rabbits. So because of the way rabbits' eyes are positioned and their body language, you just want to avoid approaching your rabbit um, with the hand straight out um, towards them. So a way you could approach your rabbit is to either put your hand above the rabbit's head or more towards the side where their eyes are so that they know what's coming and they won't be startled. So another tip is not to approach your rabbits in their cage and that is because rabbits are very very ter territorial over their um, cage or their burrow um, so you want to make sure that you don't approach them and try to pet them in their safe spot 
So once you've approached your rabbit successfully, now it's time for the actual petting of the rabbit. So the best place to start petting a rabbit is right where their nose and like the, their forehead is. This little area on a rabbit is their favorite place to be pet. Um, now I do understand that some rabbits are different and every rabbit could have different preferences, but pretty much that's where you're gonna wanna start. Most rabbits really enjoy the bridge of their nose um, being pet. I found with most of my rabbits that they do not prefer their like lower back to be pet. Most rabbits don't like their tails touched or their feet. Um, I found my rabbits don't mind their ears being touched, but um, pickier rabbits don't really like that either. Um, some rabbits don't like their cheeks being touched or under their chin. Um, for Lulu, she's my most, most tame rabbit. I can pet her on her head, I can pet her ears, I can pet um, her whole back really. She's really pretty calm about everything. Um, she doesn't like her feet touched or under her chin, um, but she's fine with like the sides of her face even. Um, she's a pretty calm rabbit. <laughs> but with more picky rabbits like Ebony and Mocha who don't really like being pet, a lot, um, I tend to just stick with just their head when I pet them. 